what motivates me, I, I confess, has shifted over the years. Maybe this is just a product of getting older and maturing a little bit, I like to think. So when I started in science, I was just fascinated by the retina and by vision. I mean, humans are so visual. I mean, so much of our functioning in day-to-day -day life is reliant on vision. Just the ability to walk down the street, to drive, to read, to recognize the emotion in a face. And we're just such highly visual creatures. So I used to have a, just a basic fascination with vision, and I still maintain that fascination. Over the years, and in no small part due to my interactions with GRF, I've been placed in close contact with people who are suffering from vision loss. Um, one person who comes to mind in particular is I attend some seeing eye dog events as part of a volunteer work. And I met this young woman, Juanita Herrera, who's been blind with glaucoma since she was three years old. She has a seeing eye dog, fortunately, and she's incredibly functional in the world given the lack of, uh, complete lack of vision that, that she has. And yet, you know, you talk to her and you realize that there are huge aspects of her life that uh, you know, that rely on the dog, that rely on family care, and she so desperately wants to help other people suffering from vision loss. And I was very inspired and would love to be able to do something for patients like Juanita. So these days what really motivates me is the very real possibility of discovering something in my laboratory that can go into patients and allow them to see for much longer periods of their life, to see much better, and maybe even to re recover vision from a state of being blind, to reverse blindness. And that's what gets me up early, that's what keeps me up late. And I've devoted my whole adult life, my professional life, to working on these cells, retinal ganglion cells in one form or another, trying to understand their development, their function, their repair. And I don't see myself working on anything else in my career, really. I plan to give my entire life to the study of the visual system. I remain completely fascinated by vision as a property of, of the brain, of the human brain in particular. And the idea that there are people suffering from vision loss, to me, is a call to arms that we have to do something to reverse and treat this disease.